So we have entered the three weeks of Avelos of mourning, in which we are to remember and mourn Churban Beis Migdusheinu Vesifartainu. If we would be sitting in the same Beis Medish, I would probably turn to you and quote the Mamre Chazal, Kol Dor Shaloi Nivne Beis Migdush Biyamov, and I would say to you, could anybody continue this Mamre Chazal? And I'm sure that everyone in chorus would say, Ke'ilu Chorav Biyamov, and I would respond, no. That's nowhere to be found. That's not a Mamre Chazal, and it ain't. For some reason, it's what everybody quotes. But what Chazal do say is far more troubling and far more demanding. It's a Yerushalmi in Yom Edafei, called Dor Shulanivna Beis Amigdash Beyom of Malan Olav Keilu Hu Hechrivo. So when we say Kilu Chorav Beyom we say it happened during our lifetime. It transpired. It didn't happen. Didn't transpire. Somebody did it. So mom leaves the house just for five minutes and she tells her children, I'm going down to the grocery store. I need to buy some milk for your Cheerios. Five minutes and I'll be back. She's back in five minutes. The beautiful flower top shattered. The window broken out. The floor is full of water and glass. And as mom steps into the room, all the children together, Peach would say, the window suddenly broke out and the flower pot just, just fell off the table. And mom says, no, windows don't fall out and flower tops don't jump off tables. Somebody did it. And I would like to know who is that somebody. So it's far more easy to say, Kilu Chorov Biyomov, but a Kodesh Baruch Hu says, didn't just transpire, someone did it, and I want to know who. So who did it? I, you, each and every one of us. Malen olav ki'ilu hu hechrivo. And if we bear responsibility for the churban, then we are the ones that bear responsibility for the binyan. Rashi and Taisis three times in Shas. Sukkah Memalaf, Rosh Hashanah Lamed Beis, Shavuos Tezvav. Say that the Ba'is HaShlishi will descend Eish Men HaShomayim. So the reason we don't have a Beis HaMikdash is only because we're not fitting to have one. If it would be fitting to have one, we wouldn't have one. And if we don't deserve to have one, that means if we would have a base of this this morning, probably it would be destroyed by this afternoon. And therefore, Chazal say, yes, you bear responsibility. And if you bear responsibility for the destruction, it is you that need to rebuild. So how do we rebuild? How do we build a base of Mikdash Bashamayim? How? What are the means? Moiri Verabi, the great Kreisenberger Rebbe, used to tell a story, and he heard this from him tens of times, maybe hundreds of times. The great Divrei Chaim, the founder of the Tzans dynasty, was once sitting by the Tish, and he was Ochuz Sarapim, fire. And suddenly he speaks up and he says, I'm looking up at the heavens, and I see the Beis Megdosh is, is, is finished. Everything is in place. Only the paroiches is missing. One of the Zikne Achasidim, who was a Rebbe himself, couldn't control, couldn't control himself, and he cried out, so why doesn't the Rebbe do the paroiches? The Divrachayim was shocked, and he said, and why do you think I didn't do the paroiches? I did. And a Roshe came by Arts of Samarav and he tore it to shreds. So some Velo Piresh. What a story. What we learn from this story, there's a world war going up there around the base of Megdash. 
Some of us build, and the others destroy. Chasidim v'yan shemaisa, with her Torah, Voida, and Gemilas Chasodim build. There are others that tear apart, that tear asunder. How does one build? How does one destroy? I assume that the way we build the clay amigdash is the mitzvahs that are associated with those kalim. So this, I made a, this thought I spoke about many times. It's a popular theme in my shiurim. The entirety of Avodah Samedah centers around three kalim and all the others. All the others are supplementary. Menoida Mizbeach Shulchan Keneged Ma Menoida is associated with Torah Kineh Mitzvah V'Torah Or goes without saying the Mizbechois both the Mizbech HaPnimi and Mizbech HaChitzen are associated with Avoido. All the Karbonis, the sacrifices were on the Mizbech HaChitzen. Tfilo is connected Karbonis Tuknum. The Tfilo is associated with Korban, Brochus Chavova Midbeis. Mizbech HaPnimi is Ktoiris. Posek Adilim, Tikoin Tfilo Siik Toiris Lefonecho Masas Kapai Minchas Orev. So the way to build the Menoides with Toiris, the way to build the Mizbech is with Avoida and goes without saying, the Shulchan is Gemilas Chasodim. Chagig Yochov Zayin Umedalev, Shulchan is Shaloda Mechaper, it's also a Gemorah Zvochem, both Rashi and Tais Vesei. Shulchan is Chesed. And what about the Oren and Kodesh HaKodeshim? Definitely associated with Taira. What is the Oren? Luchas Abris and a Seifet Taira. That is how we could rebuild the base of Megdash. Maran Olav Kiruhu Achrivo, the one that destroyed, is the one that needs to fix. We don't have a Divrachayim today to update us. So what's happening up there? What are they missing now? Is it the Paroiches once again? How would we know? But a contemporary of the Divrachayim was the Rebbe of Kamarna, Heichal Abrocha. He was one of the greatest Kabbalim, Mikubolim in the history of Hasidus. He was a Talmud of that Teres Tzvi. And if you're familiar with the teachings of the great Hasidish Rabbeim, Zedechoyv Kamarna is Kabbalah. And the Kamarna, Rabbi Isaac of Kamarna, wrote many Sforim. He was a Goan Oilem Benigla, one of his most Magnificent form is Asiris Oifan Torah's Koyanim, but he wrote many Sforim. In Heichel Abrocha he writes that in the end of days it is the Oroin that will be Ma'ak of the Geula. It is a Roin Oedis that will be the last of the clay of Migdash to finally, to finally be built. So it is the Oroin. That is what he teaches us. How do we build the Oroin? Taira. And even more Taira. For some reason we think we're so great. And we constantly hear from our Rabbonim and Rosh Hashivas that never before was there such a magnificent generation of Talmud HaChomim and Taira. I wish to defer. If we would be so great, the Mashiach would be here. He's not here. I think we could do far more. I remember a year ago, a year and a half ago, I spoke at my wife's first yard site. We had a huge kinos in Yerushalayim. And I complained about the fact I think there are still thousands amongst us that are not Koveya Itim Letoira. Yes, we have an unbelievable generation of Bnei Torah, of Masmidim, of Lamdonim, obviously it's not enough. There are still so many amongst us that are not koveya itim letoira. And even those that do learn, me and you and all the others, we could all learn more. We could all do more, much more. And obviously it's not enough. If the Oron is waiting for us, that means we need more Torah. 
And the Hechel Abrocha fits in beautifully with the Orachayim in Parshas Tetzava. At the beginning of Parshas Tetzava, the Orachayim HaKodesh asks, Goles Mitzrayim was 400 years. In practicality, it was 210 years. Goles Babel was 70 years. So why is it that this last Goles is already almost 2,000 years? Why is that, if we could understand? And the Orachayim brings an astonishing Zoya. And the Zoya says, we are redeemed from each goddess in the merit of one of the of Oilam. We were Zoya to Geulas Mitzrayim B'schus Avroam Avinu. We were Zoya to Geulas Yavon in the Schus of Yitzchak. And we came back from Babel to Etzesol and the Schus of Yankov. It is only in the merit of Moshe Rabbeinu that we will be Zoycha to the Geul Yishalayim. Ve Moshe Rabbeinu einoi chofetz ligo il am habatlone min Shocking words. And whenever I quote this Orachayim, I say, it can't be. Can't be. One cannot say, Moshe Rabbeinu einoi chofetz ligo il. Moshe Rabbeinu Einoi Chofetz Ligol. Is that the same Moshe Rabbeinu that said, Mechene Nu Mesifrocho? Moshe Rabbeinu that says, Ato Toymer Elai Say Eu Bechikecho Ka Ashe Yisu Ho Oymen Esai Yoyneik. Moshe Rabbeinu that loved and, and cherished I think what we need to explain is Moshe Rabbeinu Eino Yochoi Ligo El Ama Betlon Amenatoira. Of course he wants to. If we could look up at the heavens, we would see Moshe Rabbeinu begging and pleading and crying. Kendalach, Kendalach, give me some more Torah. I could bring the Geela, but it's up to you. I could bring Moshiach, but it's up to you. What do I need from you? The Oroin. We need to finish up the Oroin. More Torah. More Kriyas Itum. More Harbotas Torah. More love. More Aves Torah. More Shashuas Torah. More Yegiyas Torah. Torah and Noch Torah. And even more Torah. And that is the only way to finish the Oroin. Moshe Rabbeinu Chafetz Ligoyal. Let us give him the tools. Let us finish the job. Let us come back to the Gemara. An other shear and an other shear. An other daf and an other daf. Whether it's daf yoimi or whatever it may be. Taira, that's the key. So here also we should be zoicha. Ein Yisroel Negolen Elo B'schus Talmet Taira Shenema Gam Ki Yisannu Bagoya Matu Akabzeim Kodesh Bochu should send us Moshiach Tzedkenu v'yivne lono beis mikdushenu v'sifartenu v'mahero v'yomeinu. Amen.